guys, how you guys doing? Okay, good, great, not so great. Let's see if I can change that for the better. Now, as you can probably hear, it's raining. <laughs> so, my internet is out. <laughs> so, I won't be able to upload my video today. Well, by the time you see this, the video is already up. So, my last Inktober video is late because of rain. And, uh, yeah. So today I'm going to be testing this out. I found these at Dollar General. These are premium brush tip markers. Um, they don't say if they're water based or alcohol based, so I'm going to test them out. So I'm going to test them out and see how it goes. Like it doesn't, usually if they say an age limit, you know that they're water based but I see nothing <laughs> for that so I'm going to test them out okay I'll be using two kinds of paper to test these out I'm going to be using the Strathmore marker paper which I absolutely adore I have some really bad drawings in here because I was messing with markers and um, I made a I made a birthday card for my mom and uh, yeah the ink went everywhere so this one's basically useless until I get to about right meow <laughs> and then I'm gonna be using the Faber Castell watercolor pad I found at Meyer. I really don't like this paper <laughs> that's the only watercolor paper I have um, I got a few things in here because I'm not very good at watercolor. No, I really do love this. This is really cute. That's what I got in here. <laughs> okay. I think I have Did I miss it? I have another painting in here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It was stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good with watercolors. <laughs> so, for testing these markers out, whoops, oh, fell on me again. This would be okay. And then, I'm gonna start with this and then see if they blend. I have a Artist Loft blender. Focus. Anyway, it's a color blender. I'm gonna be testing that out. Okay, let's open these bad boys up. I just hate when packaging does this. They look pretty nice. Primary colors in brown. That's actually a brush. Come on, focus on me. That's that's actually a brush, if you can see that. It's actually Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if I should leave these like this. I think I would actually. <laughs> Marker paper here. Come on, there. We go. See what I mean? Uh, <laughs> a little crazy making my mom's birthday card. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to. Let's start with this right here. Ooh. Definitely see that some. Brush tip. You can't squeeze it or anything. Hmm. 
think it needs to be formed really bad because it's not it keeps wanting to <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like these. I don't like them at all. Some of the bristles are coming apart. You can't really get fine. Which, they're not bad for five bucks. They're not. Not at all. to go as lightly as I can but I'm shaking a little bit. But, yeah. Yeah. I can't do pretty stuff in one stroke, okay? I'm trying here. Alright. I do like how that did that though. Okay, let's let's try blending. Ooh, I think this yellow is about dried up or I just can't see it. Okay. Now I know I'm going to ruin my mark. So <laughs> I'm not going to do much more than that. But that, that's not too bad. Let's actually get the green in here. Let's try a smoother transition. Let's do purple and then blue. Oops. Oh, just ruined that. Something well. <laughs> Isn't that okay? Alright. That's not that bad. That's not bad at all. So I'm gonna try the these two traveling those. There's no instructions on the back at all. So if you want to try to get a gradient, you're not getting it. <laughs> Like if it wasn't for the fact that I knew kind of what I was doing when blending, I don't think I would have been able to get a pretty even grade. So there's that. Now I'm going to blend. See if I can get some of these out. I think my marker might be dried up. Let me try the other end. Not dry up. So these are not alcohol based. Probably could have told you from smelling them. But they don't really have a smell. I'm guessing they're water based. So let's move to the water kind of paper. Water paper out, and I got little. Be Narda! As some of you may remember, he has my brushes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get a basic water brush. Maybe now I'll get a short one. Or, or I could just use the one that I got from my Arts Next box. I'll do that. 
Because I know for a fact that was a watercolor brush. Now some of these I think are acrylic. Some are water. I, I'm not good with brushes at all. So I got my water here. A very Halloween-y cup. Drink of witches. Oh, my phone does not want to do stuff. Okay. Alright, so let's get the blue out again. They are water-based! Right. Would not use them for watercolor, though. people do this. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's more watercolory. Mm. Okay, so these are water-based. You can do a little bit with water, but not a whole lot. can get some pretty cool effects. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if I like them or not. They'd be fun for like little projects. I, I think kids might like this. I don't know. They're very cheaply made. They're very cheap plastic. You can't squeeze them to get more like that's actually what I thought these were. I thought these were more like a watercolor brush. But no, this is hard as a rock. But it did surprise me that they actually have bristles. These might have worked better if they had a felt tip. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to, I guess, try to make something. I don't know what. <laughs> and go from there. something else. So I may end up destroying this marker. I don't know. But I'm going to get straight into the water. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Huh. Huh. I'm going to Chamberlain. You know what, that's from you are my friend. <laughs> we are friends now. <laughs> so this isn't too bad. If you actually dip it into the water, it's not bad at all.
No, I'm trying to make it messy. It seems to be working. There we go. Oops. Okay. Cool. I feel like I may be running these markers. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be running these markers. It's part of the test that I wanted to do, so I'm doing it. messy with it. I guess it could also be. Mm, that seems too small. Alright, give me more blue. Give me more actual blue here. I don't do watercolor much. This exact reason is why. Because I'm not very good at it. Like, I want to try to get better at it, but... Yeah, that green's going way into the blue. Let's see if I can. Guess not. I gotta find some paper towels. <laughs> I think I ruined these. <laughs> still see a lot of the green. But I do like the splashing I do like that. I like that. Ooh. I do like it. I really do like that. Let's see if I can try to lift 
move some of this up here. I'm such a noob when it comes to watercolor. Even though technically this isn't watercolor, these are just some brushes that I found at the Dollar General. Which, I think this looks pretty good, personally. Let me get my little fairies up here. Yeah, I think a splash of watercolor would make that look really good. For those that don't know, the fairies on me are Tattle and Tail. They're brother and sister fairies from Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is my favorite. Well, my favorite Zelda game. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> they don't look exactly like my tattoo, but they are close enough. Huh. I don't really want to use that. It may be this texture. That was more of a maroon, but I don't have a maroon. It's gonna be purple. Yeah, this just messed it up. I should not have used black here. I messed it up. Yeah, I completely messed it up. But not bad for you know five dollar brush pens from Dollar General. Dollar General has a lot more art supplies than Family Dollar, which I'm happy for. And our Dollar General has been getting ready to become a Super Dollar General. <laughs> yes, yeah, Super Dollar General. So I'm hoping they'll have a lot more art supplies. I'm hoping. Or at least a lot more fresh supplies. Because this 
else is supposed to be for? Crafts. Not bad if I use them as watercolor pens. I really like them. That is pretty. Take these out <laughs> and it's pretty. <laughs> yeah, I'm ashamed of those fairies. They don't exist. They're not there. <laughs> Ignore them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I made your day just a little bit better. And I hope my videos come out in time because the internet is poopy right now. Bye! Hey guys, it's been a few days and I wanted to check in on the brush tip markers that I was playing with. And I just want to see if the, the tip came back to life, you know. Oh! It did! Do you remember last time um, the tip kind of Focus, focus for me. Focus. The tip became white because I put I dipped it straight into water. But this is perfect. It's right back to how it's supposed to look. Let me see the yellow real quick. I only have one hand. Give me a second. Okay. All of them are back to normal. Come on, focus for me. Focus. Focus on this. Okay, let's go over here maybe. Okay. All of them are back to normal. You can still see where some of the brush tips are are frayed. But yeah, for five dollars, they're not bad for being watercolor brushes. I think that's what I'll use them for. Again, when it came to the brush tip markers from Dollar General, I would use them for watercolor stuff. Because they actually did really good. I just need more watercolor paper. I need a trip to Walmart. Yeah, I think I... Hmm. I gotta go Lexington. I might go to Michaels instead. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, I will give you a link to my Instagram, my Facebook page, and I'm still working on my Patreon, and I'm also doing a GoFundMe thing. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to do or what rewards, but if you guys have any ideas for rewards for Patreon, please let me know. Because I was thinking... Oh gosh. My cat's sneezing. She has allergies like me. It's pretty bad. Um, so if you guys think of any rewards that you would want from me, for different tiers because I'm thinking of doing um, a $10 tier and a $20 tier, tier and a $30 tier like the $10 would be whatever you want me to draw but only in pencil $20 would be a color pencil and then 30 would probably be like watercolor or mixed media or um, acrylic paint but only be small because I'm not confident enough to do a big canvas there's no way, especially not for $30. That would be way more. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, I'm working on that. I just need to figure some stuff out. I got a lot of things to figure out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If, if you're wondering what this is, my mom likes to keep me as a kid, <laughs> which I know a lot of adults have these, but. Hey, the unicorn jammas. I got too hot, that's why. That's why it's up here. I just... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hope I made your day just a little bit better. Bye!